Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to do math exponents. Now, all you really need for doing math exponents is a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator if you really need it. But we're going to go over some rules of exponents to help you find those math exponents. Now, the first rule we'll address is how you would add exponents. Now, one, example, one rule you have to think about is when you have two numbers, we'll call them bases, the bases have to match. The exponents can be different, but the bases have to match. And this particular rule is when you have b to the m times b to the n, you can consolidate by having one base and adding the two exponents. But again, I'm, I'm emphasizing that the bases have to match. So for example, if you have x to the third times x to the fourth, what you have to do is make sure that the x's, the bases, match, and then with the exponents, you literally just add them. So x to the third times x to the fourth would be x to the seventh. Now another rule is if you have exponents on top of each other, but again, in order for you to consolidate these exponents, you have to be sure the bases match. But if they do, then under division, you actually subtract those exponents. And for example, if you have, let's just say, y to the fifth over y to the second, again, making sure the bases match, you have y and y. So what you can do is, again, take the 5 and subtract the 2 like so, y to the 5 minus 2, which, as you know, is 3. So y to the fifth over y squared is y cubed. And another common rule for exponents is if you have exponents right on top of each other, as in if you have b to the m raised to yet another power, then all you have to do there is multiply the two exponents side by side. In this case, since there's only one base, you don't have to worry about matching bases. So for example, if you have z to the third, all that raised to the tenth power, let's play with a little bigger number, all you do is take the three and the ten and multiply those together, and 3 times 10 is 30. Now, there are just some examples on doing math exponents. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a few examples on how to do math exponents.